I'd like to now recognize the gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Miller. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Appreciate it. It's good to see you again, Administrator. Uh, it's good to see you in Northeast Ohio just a couple of, a couple of weeks ago uh, for the eclipse, and I really appreciate you coming out to Cleveland and spending the afternoon with us. It really means a lot, and to have you there is very special. Uh, while you were out there, we had some great conversations, including about the importance of NASA Glenn Research Center, which is located right in my district and to NASA's mission. Administrator Ness Nelson, NASA's Space Technology Mission Directorate funds a lot of significant priorities for NASA many of which the Glenn Research Center is involved in. However, funding for STMD has been relatively stagnant over the last five years. The fiscal year 25 budget request proposes ramping up funding for STMD in large part to support the development of fission surface power technology to create a nuclear power system that could operate on the moon. Administrator Nelson, can you please talk about the importance of fission surface power and why we need to invest in it now and not just further down the line. And could you please address the importance of Glenn's role within the project? Uh, yes, Congressman, and it was great seeing you in Cleveland. And before I forget, for Congressman Tonko, uh, our commander going to the moon, Reed Weissman, uh, on Artemis II, he is a graduate of Rensselaer Polytechnic. Uh, so, uh, Congressman, uh, <clears throat> we got to have more power on the moon. We go to Mars, we got to have more power, particularly as you get further away from the sun and you can't rely on all solar power. And so uh, fission surface power is uh, going to be a necessary element. And we're going to start this with uh, the moon. So this is part of the reason we go back to the moon, in order to go to Mars. Uh, the 25 requests is 113 uh, million. Now, do you want me to get into nuclear electric and nuclear thermal as well, or do you want to keep it to fission surface I'd, power? I'd like to keep it to fission, just because okay. mainly that's what's up there that we're working on. Okay. Well, I, I certainly uh, uh, regret respectfully request that you all grant our uh, 25 request of 113 million. Yeah. Okay. We'll take a look at it. I understand. And, and, I, and I get it. Uh, as you had already acknowledged that it's been a tough year uh, working with the budget. And the last thing that we want to do is to cut down to anyone. Uh, but we have to make sure that we're being responsibly and efficient for the country. But yes, Administrator, I'm with you a thousand percent. Uh, and thank you for your earlier answer. Uh, additionally, as you know, NASA Glenn Research Center leads the communication services project, which leverages commercial capabilities to provide next generation data relay for NASA satellites and to ensure that there's no data gap as NASA's older communication satellites continue to age. Can you speak to the importance of the work performed at Glenn? And do we have your commitment, possibly, that you will provide the resources to the center that needs to complete this project quickly? You can't fly in deep space unless you can communicate. Uh, our deep space communication system ran into a problem uh, because we need to communicate with all of those science uh, uh, instruments, including the James Webb Space Telescope, bringing back all of that data from deep in space. And lo and behold, we had to have the capability of communicating to Artemis One in the test flight of the rocket. And we didn't have all of the bandwidth that we wanted. So we need to improve that. And this is especially essential as we are going further and further out into space. Right now in low Earth orbit, we got enough uh, communications we can handle that. We need to update it, modernize it, et cetera. Yeah. But deep space is a different thing. Well, if there's anything that we can do to work with you, uh, and especially at NASA Glenn, getting them the resources or just getting the education or familiarizing us with how we can make it more efficient or to get to the next step, I would really appreciate it. And what makes me just really glad to hear is, you know, your acknowledgement of how important uh, NASA Glenn is, not only to our region, but to the country and more so the world. 
uh, and the capabilities that we have there. And I just, once again, want to thank you for your time. It's been uh, truly a pleasure to work with all of you and your staff. Uh, and, and so just thank you again and anything we can do in the future to work together to make sure we can con continue to evolve and progress in the right way. Uh, you have a friend in me. So thank you, Administrator. I yield back.